Hello my soccer universe. I really needed that weekend. Now I'm gonna shoot them bang 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 one after the other and I'm planning to upload them and so let's see what will get out at what time. Channel debut for the Everton away jersey that I got from Andy. A beautiful jer uh, jersey. They were not wearing the away jersey at uh, United but that's why we have the blue one up there. And a lot of yellow jerseys back there so I'm very happy about that one. This was an exciting round in the Premier League and that's why I started. I mean, we probably had one of the, just by pure quality, best games of the season year. Uh, which was of course the last one between Liverpool and City. We had a remarkable game between United and Everton. So the City battle between uh, Manchester and Liverpool ended with a draw. Away goal rules to Manchester, potentially. And we had, therefore we have a new leader as well, because the third uh, team in contention, who had kind of a roughish week, uh, gets back on track. I would say we hop into it. Uh, I said United Everton. I didn't see, I only saw kind of the highlights. It was one of those games from everything that, 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 that I hear at the moment. I mean, uh, there was no Ronaldo starting and who uh, did he leave Fernandes out as well? I don't, I, there were two that, that, that Fernandes was on the pitch. Um, I think Sancho, yeah, no Ronaldo, no Sancho. Um, but you know, uh, it's, I, I hate to say it because I know that United fans like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but United seems to have 11 individuals on the field that try to figure it out. And I've seen it when I watch them and I hear it very, 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 very often. Uh, there seems to be no obvious plan and while you could get away with that last season, when you had a pretty, uh, you know, I don't want to say underwhelming squad, but uh, you did a good job there. However, now you have the superstar players and now you need to deliver. And a little bit of a plan, as you can see with the other three top teams, uh, that is missing. They do get the lead through Martial, but it was Everton who actually uh, fought themselves into the game and earned themselves very much a draw. I think the story is more that Everton deserved that draw than United um, really draw, uh, dropping it. And Everton... And uh, um, I haven't talked about uh, too much. I uh, cannot now. Uh, what's what's the name of the, uh, I cannot remember the coach's name. Let's check him out. Uh, Benitez, of course, Rafa Benitez. I have the, the faces in it. Uh, it's one of those stories that shouldn't work but at the moment. It does work, however, Everton had, had a good start last season as well. As I said, Chelsea, it looks a comfortable 3-1 win. Uh, Chaloba giving Chelsea an early lead, um, then a, a goal by Werner is disallowed. However, uh, Southampton was very well in the game and actually took all the notes that Chelsea got from uh, uh, that uh, Southampton got from uh, Manchester City and, and Juventus, meaning press them, uh, the life out of them, keep the spaces tight and Chelsea has problems that they really seem to have problems with that. Um, they get even equal through Ward Browse, but then um, red card, when I saw the replay, it was a red card, uh, that turned the game around and Timo Werner, of all people, gets the winning goal and Chilwell will add a, third one Chelsea on the way. Um, of the other games we have Norwich getting the first points of the season, uh, Leeds United getting the first win of the season, Wolves getting a rare win as well, but, but you know there you just kind of wait until they get, they get it going. Brighton and Arsenal nil nil. Uh, Brighton, yeah, I think they are with the sleeper team of the season. Leicester was 2 nil up at Palace and uh, Borch is that one. Spurs saw so a little, little bit after one. Uh, actually very much deserved to win over Aston the win over Aston Villa with uh, Son, one of my favorite players in the league, uh, being absolutely beside, uh, playing outside of himself, uh, assisting Heuberg on the first goal. Uh, the, that Watkins then could equalize was a little bit against the run of play, but a target uncle, although Lucas Muda would have been right, right there. I mean, he kind of forced it, uh, sets the game toward, toward Spurs, who uh, really, really deserved what they needed after three losses. They needed to get this, this win to get a little bit more calm into the side but yeah looking also not that great west ham another loss another loss and this time at uh, versus brentford so uh brentford really they're the leads of the this season seemingly but everything literally everything of this round was liverpool manchester city 
Uh, this was such a wonderful game, uh, and it's not the first uh, time that, that I'm saying this. These are the two uh, most exciting sites in England if they're both fully fit. Um, the one takeaway that I have is that I feel that Liverpool played at their maximum. They got the last bit out of them. And Manchester City still has a step to go. That's the the one feeling I still have about the whole thing. Um, especially in the first half, I think City should have taken it. I mean, it was kind of the first 10 minutes, Liverpool starts with a lot of en energy. When City was not depressing, but then City clawed themselves back into the game and then had created so many chances, na uh, namely via Foden and Bernardo Silva. They should have taken the lead. Uh, Grealish was a little bit anonymous, I found, but you know. Uh, so it was kind of a lucky, lucky, lucky uh, nil-nil at halftime, but then Liverpool came out to play and at the second half, this was probably the best 45 minutes of uh, soccer I've seen uh, this season, for sure. Exhilarating, great play and uh, Mohamed Salah playing uh, again, this was more or less an out-of-body experience. He is one of those really, really, really frustrating players where you can... Uh, he can be mishandling a pass, being a little bit too sure of himself and, you know, losing balls or he can play like he did uh, yesterday. Uh, absolutely amazing. I mean, just uh, the way he already set, set up the uh, first, first, first goal by Mane, how he separates him himself and then plays a wonderful pass. And Mane just with uh, touches one and goal goes in the, in, in, the, in the back of the head. It was already a brilliantly played goal. Um, however, City, at, the, at that point, that Liverpool had a little bit the upper hand, but Liverpool, uh, City, City found himself back and Foden gets, finally, his goal one is, uh, <laughs> one is tempted to say. And I have to say, in the, in, it was in 69, the Gabriel Jesus uh, assist, and it seemed like from, from an angle where I thought it's that's not necessarily for a goal, but hey, a goal it was. Uh, and so the scores were level again, and then the big one by uh, Mohamed Salah. I mean... Ball coming from Milner, who should have been sent off by that by the time uh, that was kind of a little bit uh, of one thing. Uh, they put a little bit of that uh, that the tempering here, a little bit too long of a leash. Uh, goes to Curtis Jones, who then plays it to Salah, who through the entire city defense slaloms. Uh, it, might, it was not Maradona like, but it was as far as modern uh, soccer goes. This was as good as it gets. The way he uh, two feints and then putting it into that uh, stuff of legends. Wonderful goal, worthy of a winner. However, an excellent Salah was not enough because City was just too good and De Bruyne gets the equalizer. Um, I also liked the, you know, how passionate the coaches were, especially Guardiola, who always at Anfield seemingly uh, outrageous. What I was liked even more is that after the end, end of the game, we could clearly see both Klopp and Guardiola really appreciated that this was a wonderful game that they played uh, to the best of their abilities and you could see the respect between those two which kind of topped off an absolutely amazing game that there was no winner is maybe the only little bit sour taste in there but given the way it went i think it was more than when it served i ac actually have to say the result is probably uh, a bigger one for liverpool because given the first half city probably would have deserved that win so yeah, that was it from the Premier League. I mean, with that win, uh, you will get it in a stats cast, but just uh, for now, I, I want to mention it. We have uh, Chelsea now ahead of Liverpool and Man City and United uh, still on level uh, with Everton and Brighton up in the top, top, top six and Brentford up in seventh. Um, on the bottom, as I said, Norwich has one point. Uh, and you will see in the expected stat standings, there is now already kind of a gulf. I mean, we have still City very much on top, then Chelsea and Liverpool still neck to neck. Chelsea have the slight advantage. And then uh, distance to United, it's uh, expected stats as success and want, and the rest with the North London teams. Everton and so on. But for that, uh, you'll get the stats cast tomorrow that will round out uh, everything before the international break. -in. Anyway, uh, I want to hear what you thought about the games yesterday in England. I thought I'll do the Premier League first because I think that game really, really deserved it. Uh, but I don't know if this will not post first, so we'll see. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, 
here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and kick the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.